All right, we're back at it again. It's February 3rd, run streak day 123. And it's another cold one, of course. Zero degrees Fahrenheit this morning without the wind chill, just a straight up zero. It's gonna be that kind of day, I guess. Just kidding, but uh, yeah, there's no wind or not much anyway, so it'd be a lot worse if it were windy. So we're trying to stay positive, running up towards the uh, Capitol building. And uh, yeah, just gonna do a couple laps up the hill there. That way I can stay warm. So we're probably gonna keep today's run pretty short. Probably around between four and five miles, somewhere in there. I'm aiming more towards four just because I've got up a little bit later than I wanted to. And uh, yeah, just running a little bit late this morning. So don't have as much time as I'd like. But I did somewhat of a longer run yesterday, so I don't mind doing a shorter run today. That's perfectly fine. Legs are feeling great though, even after the seven mile run up the uh, hill on Grand yesterday. Legs still feel good. But day 123 and I still haven't really had one of those days where my legs are just toast and they can't do it, you know? There's been a couple days where just a tiredness and a little bit of general fatigue has happened, but not necessarily muscle soreness, stiffness, anything like that. So all is good in that sense. All right, I think you know what time it is. Ooh, last night's Christopher Walken movie. That's right. We have officially switched. Well, not really, and I'll explain in a second. But yes, we're doing Christopher Walken movies this week, and we started with a, a really good one. This is sort of a crossover, Bruce Willis and Christopher Walken in the same movie. Can you believe it? Yes, it actually happened. Last Man Standing is the name of the movie, and Bruce Willis is the main character, but Christopher Walken is kind of his, uh, his opposite in the movie. Uh, the main bad guy, or one of the main bad guys, I should say. But yeah, basically, it's this little Texas town near the Mexican border, back in like the Prohibition era, and there's two gangs in the town. One Italian gang, one Irish gang, and they're at war. Now Bruce Willis comes through town, sees an opportunity to maybe make some money, take advantage of the situation, because he's a uh, gun for hire from, uh, I think it was Chicago. And he's like a bad dude, gunslinger type. And uh, yeah, it's a real shoot 'em up uh, type of movie. Lots of gunfights. Um, it's pretty fun. It's like a crossover between a gangster movie and a Western, which is really interesting. And I, I used to love this movie growing up. It was uh, out in 1996 was when it was made and just a great movie overall. I'm gonna give it 4.2 out of five stars for Last Man Standing. Go check it out. I think it was on, uh, who, no, it was Tubi. It was on Tubi for free. Go check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Well, that's something I haven't seen before. Over there by the Capitol building, the stairs that go up to the main entrance are closed. They're uh, roped off. Too icy, too dangerous for people to be going up those stairs apparently, which is a bummer, because I was gonna go up there and take some pictures, but oh well. I had to uh, take the sunglasses off, because the uh, condensation that was building up on the lens is freezing, so it's not going away. And then I was feeling my hair here where I'm sweating a little bit and I have ice in there. So it's definitely a cold one this morning. I'm warmed up, so I'm not really feeling it too bad, but I wouldn't want to be walking around in this weather. That's for sure. Come here. Come here, boomers. Come here. Come here. 
All right, we're back from the run. The camera just froze up towards the end there. It was just too cold. I had it wrapped in a little towel and everything and it just didn't really matter. It was just way too cold out there basically for the GoPro. So I'm shooting the ending here in the kitchen. Run today ended up being 4.68 miles. Pace today, eight minutes, 44 seconds. Uh, yeah, not too bad of a run uh, overall. Just about where I wanted it to be. I was hoping to get around four and a half and got a little bit over that, so that's good. And I'm still on time to uh, get my day started without being late or anything, so that's always a plus. I'm gonna eat some oatmeal, drink some tea, and get on with my day. Thanks for watching, everybody. Short video today, but hopefully a good one. Till next time, take care.